Hey guys, it's Lauren Cinder here, back with a new video. In this video, we are going to be doing a CC shopping video, specifically Maxis Match CC. Personally, I have been starting to use a lot more Maxis Match custom content. I always did in terms of like decor items, but not really with creative sim. Although I still use like a few alpha CC items because mostly for hairs, but you know, it it has allowed well mostly because it's like I have a little bit less CC now. It's allowed my games to run a bit faster, especially since I'm not playing on the best computer. So yeah. And so basically what we're just gonna be doing is going through like a few Max's Match custom content blogs i'll have a link to them in the description down below so you guys can check them out if you want to and what i want to do is do like there's going to be a part where we're going to be focusing on creative sim and then the second part is going to be focusing more on build and buy items so basically if you if you want to only watch the creative sim part then you can watch from now and if you only want to watch the build and buy part i'll have like a time stamp marker so you can only watch so you only have to watch that part depending on what you're interested in because I don't really want to split this into two parts. So we're just going to get right into it. Right now we're on Bone Hilda's Tumblr page. All these pages are Tumblr except for one, I think. It's just like someone's blog. Like I think it's the Sims 4 update site which has, which has a lot of like custom content. Um, so yeah. I'm going to try and reblog all of this custom content, so if you want the ones that I'm going to be putting into my game, then you'll be able to get it on my Tumblr page. And yeah, so let's start. So basically, right now we have like a few hairs and clothing items. I'm just scrolling through really quickly, see what we have. I think there's only one page. So this is what we have for this page so far. So we're just going to go through this. Um, so this is a sim for download. I'm going to keep reading. So this is actually all the items that she used to make this sim. I think I already have this hair, but if I don't, I'm just going to do that. I probably won't be reblogging the content right now because it's going to take more time. I'll reblog it after this is over so you guys can see all of it by the time this video is up. I don't have this, so we're going to download it. It's it's really cute. It's like a little bodysuit. I have so many bodysuits in my game because, I don't know, it's just really useful, especially when they're like tops because then you can use them with like a bunch of different bottoms. And here we have this hoodie, which I think I... Do have in my game so I'm not gonna get it but I will reblog it so you guys can see that um, these jeans do I have them I don't know we're gonna reblog we're probably just gonna reblog everything to be honest because I like a lot of this content I do have these shorts in my game already so we're going to reblog that so you guys can get it if you do want it these are also some sims you can download so if you guys do go on our page it's just under the tag like my cc page so if you guys want to download these things then you can from her and this do i have this sweater i think i do but i may not so we're going to do a reblog and this sweater i don't think i have so again i'm reblogging all of them and then i'm going to download them i'll probably show them in another part so i'll have like a part two to this video in terms of like showing all the um, custom content and items I download. I have this in my game already. I don't think I reblogged it. I just like having like these cute little oversized sweaters. And this is just a hair dump. Um, I'm probably not going to get these because I don't know if I'll use them. And they look kind of similar to ones that I, I may have already gotten these. Maybe. But yeah, I'm not going to reblog these. So that's it for her page, and these are the things I'm going to reblog later on. So we're going to move on to Citroen Tart. I have a lot of her content already, so I'm going to reblog what I already have so you guys can get that if you wanted to. Again, you can also like go to these creators' pages if you don't necessarily want the specific custom content I have. If you want the things 
that I'm going to be putting into my game, then it'll be on my Tumblr page, which is learningsimmer.tumblr.com, and it's in the description down below. But they also have other items, and maybe you like something that I won't necessarily put in my game, so you can go to their pages and check it out. So yeah, this is Citrine Tart, as I said before. I have almost all of this stuff in my game, but again, I'm just going to like reblog them so you guys can get them too. This is really cute. I'm pretty sure I have this. These slippers, I really like them. Or, well, I guess, yeah, slippers. And it's by The Slide. I think that's probably how you pronounce it. And he doesn't really make Max's match. Well, yeah, I don't think his content is really Max's match necessarily. But I think what Stitch and Tart did was um, she, like recolored them in a way to make them look more maxis match although for this um like for these shoes that he created they actually do look a little bit closer to maxis match so if you do want to download it from well you have to to get this because it's a recolor so the mesh is on his page slide and uh moving on hair recolor dump these are cute are these Okay, so these ones you have to download all of these meshes. So I'm going to like this one and um, I might download some of them later. Then here we have a pair of jeans, which I don't know if I have or not. I may have it or I may not. So we're going to reblog it and we will get it if I don't already have it. I think I have this top. So we're going to reblog it anyway. This bodysuit, I definitely do not have. It's really cute. I like these hands. And it says feature the beaut hand colors by Vivetta. I think this is an actual artist. And she like made it into a top. I don't know if it's actually already a top or she just added the artwork to this top, but it's cute. So we're going to reblog that. And let's see. We have these bodysuits and underwear that I think I already have in my game. We're going to the next page, and while that does that, I'm just going to reblog all of these really quickly. So, okay, so we're going to continue now. There's this crop top that she created, and it's very backless, and it's cut off really high. I'm probably not going to put this in my game because I don't think I don't think my Sims would. I mean, they might, but I don't think I would use this that often. So, but it's cute, so I'm going to, oh, I already did like it. So, if you guys do want to get that, then again, you can go to her page and download this. That's a cute bralette, but again, I don't think I would use it that often. Uh, these are tattoos, and, okay, so these tattoos are the get to work alien chest tattoos in metallic swatches. Personally, I don't think I would use this. They're really cute, and, like, maybe if you were trying to, like, make those, um, what's it called? Like those gold like tattoos that people wear sometimes to usually like bohemian kind of style like i think that would look cute as like these pictures kind of are doing this bodysuit i'm pretty sure i already have so let's reblog it and the sweater i think i got it like yesterday or something these t-shirts they're cute actually I feel like they'd be really cute for like team sims, so I'm gonna reblog it. I like having custom content that's like, cause the young adults and teens can technically wear the same thing, but I like to like find certain content that like would look more appropriate for adults or more appropriate for teens to like try and differentiate them a little bit. Cause I feel like sometimes it's kind of weird when they all like when teens and young adults and adults all look like the same age because it's hard to tell like who's who. These tattoos are kind of cute. I probably wouldn't use them personally, but if you want to get them, you can. Starboy tat- I, I said tattoos. Eyebrows. Um, probably wouldn't use those. This hair is cute. Yeah, it's outdoor rich hair, both one side tucked in. Oh, okay. So I'm going to reblog this, actually, because I like this outdoor retreat hair a lot, and I like that they did that, like, tucked hair behind or like yeah the tucked hair behind the ear and the sweater probably won't, won't well 
actually I might so let's reblog it these are a lot of like Christmas custom content because I think these are posted around Christmas time that's why you can see a lot of these have like like the bright light sweater and the deer antlers and then um, these eyebrows have like they're just best again oh they have like little star yeah that's cute and over here we have this knitted halter I don't know if I have this in my game we're going to reblog it in case I don't and this set is super cute so we're gonna reblog this I like little bralette things for my sims although I feel like I don't use them as often as I could and we're moving on to the next page we're just going to go through this page really quickly and because I want to show some of the other um, blogs that I found. So again, if you want any of this content, all you have to do is go onto her page and download it. So again, it's Citroen Tart. All of these links will be in the description down below. So I'm just scrolling through this really quickly so you guys can see. And there's more. There's a lot more. Well, I don't know how much more there is, but there's more. So if you guys want to check it out, you definitely should. So we're going to be moving on to Wildly Miniature Sandwich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly reblog the content from Citron Tart and then I'll be back in like a second. Okay, so this is Wildly Miniature Sandwich. If you like really brightly colored items, which I do tend to use sometimes, then her blog is really good because she uses a lot of like vibrant colors for her custom content. So this is, again, Wildly Miniature Sandwich, and it's like her custom content, like, tagged page. So we're just going to look through some of the hairs. A lot of these are recolors of stuff in-game, so I probably, I really like this one because I like a lot of the city living hairs, and I don't know if I would use these. Oh, these ones you have to get in the mesh first, so we're going to like that one. Um... I don't know why I'm doing that, but like basically all the things that require mesh, I'm just liking them because I don't know. I don't know. It's just easier for me to differentiate them. It's like the ones that um, I liked, I have to get the mesh. The ones that I don't like, and I just sort of blog, I don't have to get a mesh. Unless it's like the creator's own mesh and you just have to get it so you can get the recolors of their own items. Um, so yeah, these hairs are really cute. Again, I think this requires um no i think this is hers so we're going to reblog this like pretty much all of these hairs because they're cute and i think this is a bowling stuff pack here so like bowling night stuff we're going to reblog this so these are a lot of recolors these are really cute um so it looks like she made them with these colors and then she had like these little icons on some of them like here you can see the pizza one, so these are cute. And so we have 13 pages here. We're probably going to go through like the first five or so. And then again, if you want to see the rest of her content, you can obviously go to her page. I don't want to spend like 20 minutes on each person. Maybe I could do that at one point, like custom content creator showcases. Where it like it's just their content and then I show them in game. So you can see. Okay, so these are cute. These are little like Ugg boots for toddlers and then like monster slippers. And I think, unless it's just the slippers and they just put this in there, but I think it's both. So I'm gonna reblog that. This is a PJ set that I may or may not already have. And again, it uses similar graphics to the diapers. So you could probably like wear one of these tops with the diapers or like wear a plain white top with the diapers and it would match and then you can wear the slippers and then these are t-shirts I guess one thing I like about these is that everything kind of goes I mean a lot of CC creators they usually have like a custom like palette that they use for all of their items so I like that all of these kind of will match with each other for example like if you want to use these tops with like these pants you could or if you wanted to use them with the diapers you could and then I'm going to reblog these hoodies. I had these lab coats in my game already. I'm going to like it. Um, I feel like a lot of people who are doing the not so berry challenge use these because um, they go well with like the color scheme and it has like mint 
mintish color like around here and here we have accessory tops so I think these are ones that you can wear underneath certain things I'm not sure I'm going to oh, okay so accessory tops to wear underneath her Jamie overalls or layered underneath other tops okay I see what they're saying these are actually kind of cute so we're going to reblog these it's actually quite um, I think they have well I think they show all on so there's a tank top a t-shirt as well as like the off the shoulder kind of top so if you want to get that you can and I guess I'll reblog the overalls as well because you can pair them together and then I think these ones come with this like specific pattern so like she made one which goes with the top like it's one outfit and then she made this one separately if you want to add like your own custom tops underneath okay so this is a lot knee-high socks I feel like there's never enough of those in the game and we might only do like four pages three or four and I'll probably be going through her page a lot more after this because she has a lot of good Maxis Match custom content. Um, these are like recolors of all the hairs. So if you want like a more black or like if you want like these vibrant colors, you can get those. And a tank top, which is really cute. And then we have flip flops over here. And then it says or thongs if you're a fellow Aussie, that's cute. And these are for toddlers, which is nice. I don't know why they didn't already have flip flops. Or do they already? Simple conversion of the children's flip flops for your top. Or maybe they already did and she just recolored them. Okay, I thought they didn't. And toddler eyebrows. Okay, so these are nice because basically the EA eyebrows for toddlers, they're kind of like, um, I mean, you probably see them in your game and you know what they look like but I, I think what she did is all the child and adult brows she converted them for toddlers so you can have them on toddlers and here are some laundry machines these are obviously just deco deco items um I think in the new eco living stuff pack I don't know when that's going to be coming out we're probably going to be getting Hopefully we're going to be getting like actual laundry. So maybe at some point she'll be able to make these functional. These are cute though. I'm going to like them. Okay, so these are some bedding sets. I'm going to reblog these because there's a lot of different patterns. And I think these would be really cute for like teen and child sims because of all the different colors. But then there's also a few in here that could be used for like any age sim. Because some of them are a little bit, um, what, what's the word? They're a little bit more, what is the word I'm trying to, like reserved, not reserved. You, okay, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. They just look, uh, okay, a bit more mature, I guess. And then here's a sofa bed. Um, I might get this because I think these are cute. Um, This would be really cute if you had like maybe a roommate living in your house and you don't, like in your apartment and you maybe don't have enough space or like, if you have like a family and you have someone who's coming to like stay over for a few days you could have them like sleep on the sofa bed these are cute as well oh my gosh i don't know why I, like some of these things i've seen already because i've been on her page before but like i never thought to look again when i started to go all max's match um so we're probably going to end off this part like while the miniature sandwich is page here i'm going to reblog this really quick because it's a cute little pj set i'm going to reblog all the content i just showed you guys and then we're going to move on to the next few blogs i think we have about four left i was going to do the sims for updates page but basically if you want to see that max match custom content just go on sims for i'll just show it really quickly sims for updates on net and then in the search bar, right over here, you just type in Maxis Match, and it'll show you a bunch of Maxis Match content that you could download. And yeah, I'll have a link to it in the description down below so you guys can check it out. But I won't be going through it because there's so much, and I kind of want to focus on like specific creators right now because this page is like um, it's kind of like a mixture of a bunch of different creators. 
So yeah, I'm going to reblog while the miniature sandwiches content and then we are going to move on to the next um, few simmers and then we're going to end off with like the build and buy stuff. So this video may be kind of long and hopefully that's okay. So now we're moving on to Simple Simmer and she seems to have a lot of Maxis Match hairs as well as some clothing and uh, build buy items. We're gonna go through this pretty quickly because it's only it's like everything is on one page. I'm just going to like um, open up all the things that I think I'm gonna get in a new tab so I can reblog them and download them. And I'm gonna save all the reblogging and downloading from now on until after this is done. Again, all the ones that I reblogged already is probably just gonna be cut out of the video, so you guys don't have to watch me reblogging them because it'll be on my page. Um, so here, I guess how they set it up is that these are like filters on the side. So you can use like, if you want clothing, and you could do clothing tops, and you only, so this is really nice how it's set up. So I think right now we're gonna go, th we're just gonna go through everything, simply because there, there is a lot of stuff, but it's not like a lot of pages to go through. We're just gonna scroll through really quickly and figure out um, what things we may want to download. So for right now, I really like this hair and these um, hair accessories that go with it. So I'm going to be opening those in the tab and it looks like she has a separate blog or no, it's part of her blog where she has each of these items as a post. Okay, so I see. Her page is like set up I think this is a page that she set up specifically like this so it's easier to search and then when you click on them it goes back to her main Tumblr page where you can reblog them and get the content. Um, so she has a lot of hairs, um, space blanket, double bed frame, it looks like this is just, oh this is a double bed frame. So there's a space blanket that comes with um, city living. Actually, I may be totally wrong. I think it was City Living, but I'm not sure. And I think she converted it into a double bed. And then this was a double bed in the game and she converted it to a single bed. So I'm going to get those. There are a lot of toddler's hairs that some of them seem to be converted from like adult hairs. And then some of them seem to be like maybe her own mesh that she created. So we're probably going to get a lot of these toddler hairs because there's definitely not a lot in game yet because toddlers was like an update and it didn't it came on like four i may be wrong i think it was like four hair specifically for like each gender and then some were like unisex but i may not be 100 percent right on that i'm probably gonna get all of this content simply because toddlers like what and oh i think i accidentally opened it on this page so yeah, there's a few items uh, that I'm going to be downloading. As you can see, we probably we probably went through like almost 100 items already. So there's going to be a lot of content to download. So I'm going to show like the other two pages right now as we're waiting for that to load. Um, and I'm going to have them in the link to the description, like the link in the description down below so you guys can check them out because I don't think we'll have enough time to go over all of them. So this is Enrique's four, and he seems to have a lot of hairs, as well as some, like, not recolors, but he basically used some of the content in games to create new meshes, because you can see these are, like, items from City Living, I think. I think this is, like, the romper, and he, I converted it, one to have with no sleeves, and one into a dress, which is really cute. And then I was going to show Sim Laugh Love, who has a similar-ish layout to um, Simple Simmer. It's not exactly the same, but it's laid out in a way where you can see all the images at once on one page, which is nice because it's easier to like pick out exactly what content you want to get. And then I'm sure a lot of you who use Max Match content have... Um, looked at budgie to budgie page and if you haven't you definitely should um i'm probably gonna 
at first I wasn't going to do a separate uh, build by video, but I think I'm going to because I really want to show her content. She has a lot of good content. Um, so yeah, this is budgie to budgie. This is her kitchen clutter, and then she has kids stuff, wall deco, and then bathroom clutter. So if you need any Maxi Batch content, I would definitely check out her page. She has a lot of clutter items that you can use in your builds. And then I have Maxis Match for Sims here. And basically this is like a CC finds blog where it's like a mix of a lot of different things. So if you are just looking for Max Match content and you're not looking for a specific creator, they have it organized at the top here for you to download. And then they also have one and you can just go through each page if you want to just by clicking the next button. And then lastly, as I was mentioning before, Sims 4 updates, just search Max's Match or TS4MM right here and you'll be able to find a lot of Max's Match content. So we're going to continue going through Blog Symbol Simmer and then once we're done, we are going to be ending the video there. So she also seems to have some um, like jewelry for child sims. Wait, are these children or toddlers? Whoa, I cannot tell. I'm not sure. I think there, there might be toddlers because these are hairs that already are available for children. So we're going to get these braids as well as these ones. And then these are some young adult hairs. So this is cute. And these. And then she also has some male hairs. Okay, so those are definitely toddlers because the child ones seem to have child written on them. Um... So we have Serena hair and child hair. I feel like the child's hair in the game actually, I mean, they definitely could have a lot more. But I feel like child hair is hasn't lacked that much. Like, I feel like I use a lot of child hair, like, without any, not that they would have issues, but you know what I mean. Like, I use a lot of the child hair in the game and I haven't really downloaded a lot of custom content for children. But again, I feel like there's also not a lot of custom content for children. There's a lot more for young adults, teens, and even now, there's a, I feel like there's a lot more for toddlers because they were new and like everyone was making content for them. And then over here, I like these. These are our accessory jackets. These are nice when you want to use like a specific top underneath. Like maybe you like the cardigan, but you don't necessarily like the swatches that came with it. So this is nice so you can throw on any top underneath that can fit. And then we have skinny jeans, we're probably going to get these ones, and we have some dresses, some more hairs, this is cute, it has like the ribbon, and then the flower crown one, and then one without any of them. And then this is the child dress that she seemed to have converted for like young adults, teens, adults, elders, and then I like these earrings because the same matches match and they are kind of what I've been looking for for a long time and let's see there's a lot of other cute items here that I may not necessarily get but that doesn't mean I don't I mean I may not necessarily get right now but that doesn't mean I won't ever get them some hoop earrings double pierced earrings feather earrings there's a lot of jewelry and I'm gonna get these little hoops and we're probably going to end this part off here. As you can see, I have a lot of tabs open now and a lot of things that I'm going to have to reblog. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this. Um, also let me know in the comments below other Maxis Match custom content creators because I would love to know of more where I can find like Maxis Match custom content. Because I find that it's a lot easier to find other content because there's a lot more of it. So yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.